Hi, I'm Claire Sweeney and I'm so excited to tell you all about my new role on Coronation Street. Mum couldn't quite believe it when I told her I was going into Corrie and the family and, um, and Jackson as well. Jackson's excited about it because, you know, it, it's kind of, it's an institution, isn't it? It's, it's, you know, part of the British fabric. My character, Cassie, she's brilliant. It was so funny, I've just read some scripts, um, future scripts. I just love her. I feel so blessed to be playing a character like this. She has no edit, she's no filter, do you know what I mean? She just says exactly what she thinks and, you know, sometimes to the detriment of everyone around her. She's very, very honest, which can be endearing, but also quite traumatising. And I know people love Tyrone and people are protective about Tyrone, so I hope she doesn't cause too much drama because I'm a fan and I love Tyrone as well, even though I'm his mum. <laughs> Oh my God, he's so great. Alan, he's so professional. He's the first one on set, knows his lines inside out. He's brilliant at what he does. And he says he had a good, good trainer with, with um, Jack Duckworth, Bill Tommy. Bill Tommy said to him, if you're on set first, you're late. Just get there on time, know your lines. And he said he was kind of, you know, in the house with um, Jack and Vera, and it was a really good training ground for him. He went in when he was about 14, didn't he? Ultimate professional and brilliant at what he does and kind as well. So my first day on the cobbles, I was very, very lucky because I didn't say a word on my first day. It was just on the street and it was nice just to be there and get the feel of it and not have the pressure. The first day I spoke, I did a 14-page two-hander with Maureen Lippman, Dame Maureen Lippman. If you can imagine, a normal scene is three or four pages. This is 14 pages. Um, Maureen was really generous, really lovely. She's amazing. You watch her, it's like what, you know, working with her is like a masterclass. She's fantastic. Um, you know, I've grown up with Maureen Lippman, and then suddenly she's my mum, and she's lovely. It's a bit of a pinch-me moment. I'd finished a scene and I thought, if this happens, I'm really going to know I'm on Coronation Street. And I'm walking down the cobbles past the Rovers and I saw Audrey doing a scene, getting into a taxi. And I was like, oh my God, there's Audrey Roberts getting into a taxi on the cobbles. And I'm here working. <laughs> and that was a real moment for me. At the moment, my favourite place. Oh God, I like the canteen because I knew there's a few of the old Brookside crew um, who have gone over there to work and I saw them in the canteen and being nervous and turning up. I, isn't it funny you get nervous about silly things? I was nervous about walking in the canteen and not knowing anyone and what, if I'm gonna choose the right thing and what do I do? I was nervous about that. And then I saw a few of the old faces from Brookside and it was like, oh, it's okay. When I was in Brookside, I was so grateful and happy for the job. And then I learned on the job and I loved it. And I loved being home and the stability of being home. Throughout the six years I was there, I did start to get hankerings to want to be in the West End and do musical theatre. And now Coronation Street has come into my life 25 years later. I'm so grateful for the job. I'm so grateful for the stability um, to be in such a brilliant show. And uh, I've got Ian McLeod to say thank you to, because after you know a while of not doing much TV, I did Ben and Dorm Scarborough, doing a bit of TV drama, but not a big role. And Ian's given me the chance, and I'm so grateful and thankful. Who wouldn't want to be in Coronation Street long term? You'd be mental not to. Let's see what happens. I never take anything for granted, and I'm grateful for each day.